Hi y'all, Henrik here yet again. And this will be my one and only video for tonight. Alright, um, my friend Toby too, who is also my neighbor from one city over, or a couple of cities over, because I live in San Marcos and she lives in Escondido, um, mentioned that she wanted to call her kid, damn it, or god damn it, and that was really enraging her wife, who is at least moderately religious, and she's not. So, I had picked up, this is my connection to this, I had picked up this book. It's called, all right, it is called The Best Baby Name Book Ever. And, uh, let me see, I'm looking for the section about this, okay, page 23, real quick. Um... And she was saying that she would name her kid Dammit because she is not only irreverent, but it made her son laugh. Um, okay. Um, Alright, page 23, I hope. Yeah. Okay. Um... In this section on page 23, there's a section called Fascinating Facts About Names. And yes, I am going to read this. And in there, there is a subsection called Them Bones. And there was a person, I don't know if it was male or female, because, okay, um, this one is... Um, this one is a religious name, but it is not gender specific. It says, Praise God Barebones, that is the person's real name, had a brother named, If Christ had not died for thee, thou wouldst have been damned. And, uh, apparently, he was called, or she was called, Damned Barebones, for short. How's that? <laughs> okay, I have a friend whose name on YouTube is Sadie Dammit. I don't know if she's been around. Um, her site, her page says that she doesn't monitor her channel anymore. But she has named her kid Captain Dammit, and uh, she refers to her family as the Dammit Clan. Why? Because they are rather lax, I mean, rather loose with their language, and um, although they don't really swear a lot, they do say, like, Dammit, get over here, and stuff. Well, they're old world German, so, well or non-traditional term. The son is a fan of 80s rock, and the mother, who is in her 40s somewhere, is a fan of Marilyn Manson, which is the opposite of the way it should be. Uh, okay. Let me see. But, all right. Another interesting section in here about names, if you're interested. If you're not, shut the video off. Um... Let's see, there's a vet in Minnetonka, Minnesota. His name is John Hot Vet. And it says, sometimes names and occupations get inextricably interwoven. Consider, consider these names and professions. I'm sorry, I'm getting close to going to bed, so I'm starting to lose it here. All right. Dr. Zoltan Overy is a gynecologist. <laughs> Mr. A. Moron 
is the Commissioner of Education for the Virgin Islands, Reverend Christian Church and Reverend God are a couple of um, reverends, of course. Mr. Thomas Crapper of Crapper Limited Toilets in London entitled his autobiography Flushed with Pride. Okay. And there's a sorted physicians named Dr. Dr. D-O-C-T-E-R or Dr. the German way with a K. Um, there is an art of Archbishop of Manila and his name is Cardinal Sin. Um, there's a banker in Northern California Savings and Loan Association in Palo Alto, California, where I'm sort of, I live sort of close to there for a little while. Um, his name is Mr. Furman A. Grip, I guess because he wanted to hold on to the money. Alright, um, there's an undertaker in Houston whose name is Mr. Groner Digger. Um, an ice man named I.C. Shivers. Um, a chorister, a choral leader in Westminster Choir College, Princeton, New Jersey, whose name is Ms. Justine Toon. All right. Um, Ms. Lavender Sidebottom is a masseuse at Elizabeth Arden's in New York City. Mr. Lawless and Lynch are attorneys in Jamaica, New York. Um, Major Minor is not only a, a character from the Underdog series, but um, he was a real soldier in the U.S. Army. Um, there is a champion long-distance swimmer named Diana Nyad, and Diana Nyad, well, the name Nyad, a Nyad is a Greek water sprite, okay? Um, there's a couple of plumbers in Sheringham, Norfolk, England, whose names are Plumber and Leak. Okay, almost to the end of the list here. There's a lawyer whose name is Mr. Ronald Supina. Um, a singing teacher in Victoria, British Columbia, whose name is Mrs. Screech. A motorcycle dealer in Port Elizabeth, South Africa, whose name is Mr. Vroom. And the last one for this list um, detectives in New York City whose names are Wire and Tapping. So that's it. <laughs> okay. This book, I don't know if it's available anymore. It came out 10 years ago. It's called The Best Baby Name Book in the Whole Wide World. In the Whole Wide World. And, um,. I don't see the editor's name on here. But I got it because basically I like characters. You know, I like making up my own characters. So I like getting interesting ideas for names. So anyway, Toby, thank you for watching this extremely long, somewhat boring video. I hope you got at least a little funny little chuckle out of it. So that's about it. See ya. Bye.